Well, hello. Welcome to our channel, Bam Thou, Baby and Me, Tiny House on Wheels. <coughs> welcome, welcome. And it's great to see all my subscribers together here. It's fantastic. And you're all wonderful. Um, and uh, But before we get on with the show, uh, I have to speak to one of my subscribers. And uh, apparently only she can hear me. So... Let's get on with that, and then we'll be back, right back. Go have a coffee or something if you need to in the meantime, and uh, come back in about two and a half, three minutes, and uh, we'll chat with you then, okay? So let's get on with this. back to our regularly scheduled program so here we go okay well I'm actually uh, impressed that uh, there's a few of you actually got the right answer on that music trivia question <laughs> yeah that was pretty cool I I actually knew that one subscriber for sure out there one of my subscribers for sure out there was gonna know that for sure and they did know it of course they did but I was actually quite impressed that a few others of you knew who that was who did that song there and uh, got it. It uh, was interesting because when it first came out and I first heard it, it was uh, like I didn't connect it with with that person because it sounded so different from what I was used to hearing from them. If you Obviously, you know what I mean. Hey, the adults are talking here. <laughs> Oh my God, the children. Anyway, yeah, so uh, that song, it was uh, You and Me by Alice Cooper. And uh, yeah, it was kind of just plaguing me there for a bit and and running around with all those crazy dreams I was having too. So uh, yeah, um, yeah, way, way back. It took a few years before uh, I, I made the connection there and I saw the video of uh, the song, or not the video, but I heard the song there and I saw the title and the artist, um, uh, artist name underneath that uh, it uh, blew me away. I was like, well, I didn't expect it because, like I said, it's like almost like uh, two different styles of music, and I didn't expect that uh, a ballad to come out of Alice Cooper. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Alice Cooper, you and me, that was that song. So, if you don't mind, here's a uh, little longer version of that, okay? We'll catch up with you soon here. Ciao for now. When I get home from work. I want to wrap myself around you. I want to take you and squeeze you till the passion starts to rise. I want to take you to heaven that would make my day complete. But you and me ain't no movie stars. What we are is what we are. We share a bed, some loving, and TV, yeah. 
That's enough for a working man. What I am is what I am. And I tell you, babe, well, that's just enough for me. Sometimes when you're asleep and I'm staring at the ceiling, I want to reach out and touch you, but you just go on dreaming. I want to take you to heaven. That would make my day complete. But you and me ain't no superstars. What we are is what we are. We share a bed, some popcorn and TV, yeah. That's enough for a working man. What I am is what I am. And I tell you, babe, well, that's just enough for me. Oh, I'm quite positive that quite a few of you out there kind of noticed something behind me here. Um, while I was talking over at the uh, table there, doing my sign language and stuff like that, I'm sure quite a few noticed that uh, something's a little different now, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit different. <laughs> well, some very, 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 very good Samaritan came along and fixed it. And I left part of it there because I want uh, the RDN, that's the Regional District of Nanaimo, to understand how hard this was to take this off. But uh, I thought, you know, it could still say hi. Anyway, what they told me online when I checked online was rubbing alcohol would strip the paint right off the, uh, the um, plexiglass uh, without, you know, uh, affecting the plexiglass itself. Well, so I tried that on tissue paper, like soaked it right down, and it barely, barely even rubbed the surface of that. So the only thing that actually worked was a sharp razor blade <laughs> sharp razor blade and quite a few gallons of elbow grease yes that's the only thing that worked so I'm sure that makes a lot of you out there a lot happier um, it certainly looks better I could have finished it off but like I said I want to leave the impression to the RDN that that was a hell of a lot of work it took me a long time and everything but it is definitely much better, and I hope that makes everybody out there happy. So, here we go. So, yeah, I'm quite impressed at how good of a job it came out anyway without damaging the uh, plexiglass surface at all. That's really good. Anyway, so, there we go. Just another uh, effort in uh, our uh, daily lives with our channel and uh, such. So... I hope you enjoy that, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, okay? Ciao for now. What do you want, little girl? What do you want, my baby? My baby, what do you want? What do you want? Come up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What do you want? Did Timmy fall down the well again? Did he? Did Timmy fall down the well again? Oh, okay. All right. Well, maybe we'll go and do something with you two, all right? You seem to be uh, 
calling me and you're bored or something. <laughs> okay, let's go do something. All right? Ciao. Hello again. <clears throat> well, this whole video was actually supposed to go out yesterday around noon. But uh, sometime after uh, clearing all that paint off that uh, sign out there, I just got knackered. Had to come in and have a nap and then it got dark and then I just, I had to put it aside until now. So it's going to come out today. <laughs> anyway, um, the reason, part of the reason it didn't come out yesterday is because I never got this clip in that I'm doing now. And uh, this is very important to me and probably should be very important to all of you. Anyway, I got to share this video clip with you uh, from another uh, YouTuber um, and 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 much much more than just a youtuber but anyway i have to share this stick it's about you know how i do the wild foraging for nutrition um i try to eat as healthy as i can stuff like that you know i still fall out down and i eat my junk food and stuff but anyway i try to promote good health and good eating and good food and that anyway i'm just gonna let this uh video explain itself because it's very very easy and self-explanatory and it's one of the best things i've ever heard on food and nutrition and the body and she speaks about um, food at the cellular level of your body and uh, when it comes to stem cells and everything and it's so clear and concise it's 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 fantastic um uh you can't go wrong just by watching it and the, the information she has is just mind-blowing anyway it's uh one of my favorite um informational channels now on nutrition right now because uh it's so uh, clear and concise concise and anyway um she uh, talks about 12 of the most important food groups that you should eat or foods that you should eat and uh, i can't believe it number one is one of my favorites three and a half years ago i just for some reason i just had to incorporate that into my diet and i had a little bit of that every single evening I always had it. It was rare for me to miss a day in that. But a num food number one, that was, oh, it's so it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Anyway, um, every single food group in those 12 foods is in my top favorite foods of all time. It's uh, every single one of them, especially number 12 as well. I just love number 12. Just love it. Anyway, um, I don't want to babble too much. I want you to go and check this video out. I'm going to put the video link in the descriptions below and i know you know how to go and find that and check this video out if you want to learn anything about nutrition and how the body works uh involving nutrition in your body and how it builds and everything it's it's the best thing i've ever seen best thing i've ever seen anyway um i think that covers all everything i want to tell you here but uh yeah please go down and check this link below because it'll uh kind of blow your mind and uh, it'll really be clear and concise about what you need to do to stay healthy and the things you don't want to do to be unhealthy so um, before I go on and on and on I'm just gonna uh, end this clip and let you go and check out this video you have to check out this video if you want to be healthy at all and it's the most amazing thing and and clear and concise and easy thing I've ever seen and heard it's it's fantastic so Anyway, this is another reason why this video is coming out today instead of yesterday. But uh, anyway, either way, a day late, oh well, uh, your knowledge begins now. <laughs> anyway, please go check this out. It's a must. It's a must. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with Baby and Me, Tiny House on Wheels, and uh, giving us love and support and everything. Thank you so much. And hopefully with this video I'm sharing with you, I can give that love back to you by helping to get you healthy and healed and and uh you know living a good life anyway uh say hi to the girls hello baby hello angel <laughs> of course anyway we'll talk to you soon all right so uh stay warm stay happy and stay healthy okay please ciao for now <laughs>
Bye, bye, bye.